Wait, can anyone hear me? I can hear you now. Can Can you hear me now? Oh yeah, now I can hear you. Yeah, I could you hear, hear me before? No, I could not. Oh, okay. Well, I think Gendrake is muted as well. <laughs> yeah. Gendrick, you're muted. Say something. Uh, Regal? Hey, can you hear me? But you can hear me, yeah, I can right? hear you. Mm-hmm. I can hear you, I can't. too. Gendrick's not. But what about Gendrick? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It was working fine in the other channel. Oh, okay. He's leaving. All right. So how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you, Morel? I'm good. I'm a little tired. What time is it for you right now? It's uh, 6.37. So like about... That's not too bad. It's about 40 minutes after what it should have been, but that's okay. Yeah, we we started about 40 minutes late, yeah, uh, actually, as well, because we ran into some issues at the start of the marathon. Uh, it's almost 2, 2 a.m. for me. Is it working now? Yes. Yeah. Hey. Uh, nice. Okay. Yeah, just forgot to give me the roll. Oh, okay. Oh. That makes sense. Okay, so welcome back. We've got Dark Souls Artorias of the Abyss uh, going, uh, starting soon with Regal Slayer and Gandrake as an own commentary. Uh, thank you both for joining us and doing this for a great cause, Save the Children. We've raised $2,337 yeah, so awesome. far. Super awesome. awesome. Uh, that can help, for example, build two schools and a little bit more, wow. uh, giving the gift of education to kids that normally wouldn't have access to it. Uh, it can also help, uh, just one dollar can help uh, provide children uh, with treatment against pneumonia, which is one of the top five killers of children under the age of five worldwide. So every little helps make a huge difference. Thank you, everybody. And Regal, if you want to take it off and introduce yourself and what you're going to be doing. I know the chat is super excited yeah. to see Artorius of the Abyss. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Hey, I'm Regal. Um, and this is uh, Gandrake joining me. Say hello, Gandrake. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Gandrake um, here. Uh, me and Gandrake both have uh, held the world record in this category. That's why I've chosen to have him with me. Um, but this, this category is basically um, it's any percent, no wrong warp. So you have to finish the game without wrong warping, so you can't skip to the very end. But in addition to that, you also have to kill all the DLC bosses as, uh, as well. So it's it's sort of like, think of it kind of like uh, uh, a DLC speedrun. But in addition to that, you also have to uh, do a no wrong warp run on top of it. Yeah, it's, it's basically all bosses minus the bad bosses. And well, some bad there's bosses still some bad bosses too. anyway. It's <laughs> yeah. Dark Souls 1, all the bosses are bad, let's be honest. True. What but, a shit um, game. And we're going to start with Pyromancer for a specific glitch that we're going to be doing. Uh, in the run, of, we're going to be doing it multiple times, this uh, air roll glitch. Uh, we can explain that later. With Black Fire Bombs, um, just to help us kill some enemies a little quicker. Um, but other than that, I'm ready to go um, so we can start the countdown for the timer. Okay, awesome. So, do you want me to count you down? Sure, you can count me down. Can I can I read you a donation just quickly before yeah, we start? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so Bun Dumpling donated twenty two dollars before the run, saying Regal is too good not to donate to. You should donate too. Yes, I agree. Thank you so much, Bun Dumpling, for the generous donation. Okay, let's go. Uh, five. Are you ready, by the way? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm you're good. ready. Okay, cool. Let's go. <laughs> five, four. Three, two, one, go! All right, Ooh. let's go. Good luck! So we're going to start off in the asylum, my favorite part of the run. Get the key and exit, and just go straight to the first boss. And like I said, we have these 10 black fire bombs. We're going to use them to take out the asylum demon pretty quickly. Yeah, otherwise it's the hardest boss in the game. He's just unbeatable without bombs, honestly. Yeah, it saves quite a bit of time doing this rather than having to run all the way around and like do the plunge attack that you would normally do in like a casual playthrough. Although some routes still do that if you can't afford to pick fire bombs, but fire bombs are really useful. So we're gonna 
run to a certain spot on the ground. And then just Please don't do what I do and get hit. Uh, hopefully not. Two, three, it's a good RNG, four, five, and that's it. And then the rest of these bombs we will make use of over the course of the run. And um, we actually, so normally in most runs you would pick up an item here, or maybe even both items if you want them, but we don't need any of them. So we are just going to skip them. Knock this dude out of the way because he's always, he always blocks you if you don't pick Got up them. Got them, Legolas. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to do a cool trick here to, this doesn't save time RTA, but it saves about one and a half seconds in game time. You just quit out near this wall and your stand-up animation will break the wall for you. Yeah, it's pretty cool that that works actually. Mm -hmm. All right. And it's not faster to kill Oscar. So we're going to talk to him what? really quickly. But yeah, I know. Amazing, isn't did it? Did you not listen to YouTube comments? <laughs> They're the superior gamers. Yeah, despite what you might hear, it is not faster. And normally, in like a real run, we'd quit out on this door, but uh, it's not faster uh, RTA, so we're just going to not do that. And uh, there's a cool little trick that um, was pretty recently discovered. Where Normally, when you reach Firelink for the f first time, you get this big like message that prevents you from sprinting. But if we open up the key guide menu, skips it completely and just immediately start sprinting and there's like what less than half a second yeah it's very small but it's pretty <laughs> cool gotta dodge these hollows this first little section is pretty annoying uh undead berg it's honestly one of the easiest places to die in the whole run it's at the very beginning and we're going this way because we want to get the black knight great sword for this run there's only like one area that's scarier than Undeadburg, isn't there? Like Anolondo? Yeah, I mean you could you could make the argument for either one, honestly. Yeah. This one is just too early out. Yeah. And uh can you go ahead and start explaining uh prompt swap for me? Uh, oh yeah. Do this menuing so... of this merchant. So prompt swap is another glitch that lets you basically buy items where you don't have the souls for, and that happens because this game was originally on console, so they never intended you to use um, mouse and um, your mouse and keyboard and the controller at the same time. So by doing that, you can do two inputs at the same time and switch the merchant tab while also trying to buy something. Mm -hmm. So and right there, that way... I uh, I managed to buy the the key, uh, the residence key, when I didn't even have the souls for it by prompt swapping from the orange soapstone, which I did have souls for. So we don't have the master key on this run, but we could still open this door, even though we did not have the souls to buy it normally. So let's just, still don't let's like just uh, scam the merchants. There's a lot of scamming merchants in the in the, in Dark Souls 1. I mean, have you looked at the prices? Yeah. They deserve to be scammed. Exactly. Also, I don't like the name Prompt Swap. I'm, I want to go with Rhythm's version, bad console port glitch. Yeah, that's... Well, that's what a lot of the glitches are, I guess. But. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, first or the second boss of the run. This is a, this guy's pretty annoying, but the, the club can stagger him, so that helps. Although the club fight is a little annoying itself. I like, I like the bandit knife fight a lot more than this. Yeah, the fact that you can stagger him is is nice with the club, but like you just get these weird fights where you don't do enough damage because of sweet spot memes, but actually was fine there. So that's yeah, cool. you got uh, all the sweet spots actually. Yeah. All right, so here's- So now a bit of yeah, a scary ahead. part. Go ahead and explain this while I do it. So he's gonna run over a big bridge and there's gonna come a big dragon and he wants to cut the tail of the dragon to get the drake sword, which is this pretty strong early game weapon. And most of the time, you don't mess up anything it goes perfectly fine but then there's like these one percent memes and just, yeah then then you're kind of screwed so we're really hoping not to see those yeah. here i have a save file just in case but looks like okay good we're good yeah you're good you're good and then from here we're going to go straight to the black knight and if we're gonna kill him and maybe he'll drop his weapon but even if he doesn't we have a uh, program running in the background and you'll hear a You'll hear a sound notification to let you know that if it's a fake weapon. Wait, what's your notification? I don't have the sound on. Uh, I think you know what it is. Oh no. <laughs> Please <laughs> drop it. Please drop it. <laughs> Yeehaw. 
There we go. Yeehaw, that's the fake sword. Oh. <laughs> there you go, Ash. Yeah, so that's the I gadget to... that's the gadget with mage app that we use to just drop the weapon in for you. So like for, for marathon runs or for practice, it's really useful to have. So even though I didn't get the real weapon, the game saw that I didn't get it and just injected it in there for me. Do you have time for a donation? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so Peanut donated twelve dollars saying thanks Regal for all that you do. Sif hop. Thank you, Peanut. We've we've got quite some actually. Uh, so I don't know, is it a good actually time? can you wait until after this? I can wait. So I can we're wait. gonna do another glitch here with uh Andre the merchant. Can, can you help me explain it, Kendra? Um it's yeah, gonna be it's like, um negative it's quantity. Even more crumb dropping. Yeah. Are you doing it with the um, brightness menu or just no with... the normal one? The other one. Okay, the normal one. So first of all, Regal is gonna buy are you gonna buy Cestus in this, or is it long swords? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be long swords. Okay, so he's gonna buy a value of long swords that he couldn't have. He just bought twenty six, and then tried to buy another long sword while he had zero souls. So what does this? He bought one long sword with the values of twenty six, at least in weight, and the twenty six got stored into the game. So he tried to buy it again, and with that, the quantity became negative. And now he tries to call up that negative quantity while dropping Twinkling Titanite and voila, Did not mean to heal. now he has 25 extra Twinkling Titanite and he can get his Black Knight Greatsword to plus five very early into the game. Yeah. So like you drop a neg, you drop a negative amount. So some easy math, if you subtract a negative, you get a positive. So I just got a bunch of Twinkling Titanite the very beginning of the run so we're gonna have a fully maxed out weapon like really really early yeah and if now is actually a good time for donations morale okay awesome thank you uh rob dab donated ten dollars saying what did the dog build his house out of mm. bark oh good one <laughs> good one and then we've got Frostwad donating $25. Thank you so much for the generous donation. Hi, Mr. Slayer. We've been waiting for your run all day. <laughs> Hope you have fun with Artorias, smiley face. Oh, Putting yeah. this donation to, <laughs> towards the Carl Place uh, base incentive because I'm a supportive girlfriend who wants to see her boyfriend play base for everyone. Thank nice. you, Frostwad. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks for the um, By the way, guys. No grass crest shield, by the way. No, or because so that's... the black knight was aggressive. No, because like, so you can get the grass crest shield in this run if you want, but I personally don't want to get it because it makes the menuing really, really awkward in this run. Because ah, uh, yeah, that that's you valid. have so many different items because of the arrow glitch glitches that you do in this run that it makes si uh, sifting through the items in your inventory just like such a huge pain. So I, I yeah, decided I to not do it. You could. Yeah, I didn't run this new route too much, yeah. like only one day. Yeah, you definitely could if you wanted to. Yeah, it would save like what, like five, six seconds. Yeah, but the thing is like, I feel like I'm gonna lose time to the menuing. So I just like, nah. Ignore yeah, me. yeah, that, that's pretty valid. All right, so we're gonna- Also, yeah, go. I didn't, I don't know if I actually told you, but you did hit the incentive Yeah, to... I saw. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, you know. I, okay, I'm great. Yeah, I'm ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whenever you have time for other donations, just let me know. All right. Okay. Okay. Next trick. So Regal is gonna shoot this hollow to bait him down the staircase, and he's gonna parry him and repost him in a very specific spot to hit one of two triggers. First, there's the death cam trigger, which is the cinematic top-down view, and below that is the kill trigger, the kill box. So by only hitting the death cam trigger, the game starts to deload things, and with this he will be able to get into Sense Fortress very early into the run and with that to Ana Londo to obtain the Lord Vessel very mm. early yes. to teleport. Yeah, and also it's really nice because Iron Golem gives you a ton of souls, like just all at once. So um, we'll be able to upgrade in our weapon and level up to be able to use it like immediately afterwards, which is really nice. So th th this, this skip just offers so many... Uh, so much usefulness in routing for this game, it's it's extremely ubiquitous. 
Um, almost yeah, it, almost it everything also... uses it. Not everything, but almost everything. Force quit doesn't. Yes. The best run. Mm. I have yes. to disagree with you on that, but yeah, <laughs> you're right. Force quit does not use it. <laughs> but yeah, it also allows him to skip gargoyles in this run. Yeah, yeah. So like some some runs, like you you don't end up skipping. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh oh no. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, I don't have enough arrows to shoot the hollow, so we're just gonna have to run up and get them. Yeah, that was uh, well, that was that's, uh, that's okay. It's okay to die in Sense Fortress. This is a hard yeah, area. Yeah, exactly. Every Everybody knows. Everyone how in chat can tell you <laughs> how hard Sense Fortress is. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. Don't be sad if you die in Sense Fortress. Even a world record holder dies there. Come on, dude. Ah uh, yes, he he's being fast. <laughs> that was an interesting death. I wasn't expecting that snake to hit me there, and then I just got comboed. Yeah, he did it at like the latest moment yeah. to still get it through. That's hilarious. That's okay. <laughs> I'm a pretty generous estimate, so I've I've room for uh, memes, definitely. Well, good that you have that with no moves, Vatorius. Yeah. Okay, so you got to see Sinsgate skip twice. That that that's showing up how good you are. That's exactly why I, I died there. Yeah. By the way, he has tank controls in this view, not just normal basic controls. Okay, so let's try not to die this time. You can do it, I believe. Mm, yeah. I have a quick donation. Soap Sinclair donated 50 sing. Yeehaw. Thank you, Sinclair. Yeehaw. Thank you, thank you. Yeehaw. I from, salute to you. From the man himself. Yeehaw. Right, let's get my souls. It's not like I died or anything. Oh, you're zero souls? Yep. Yep. Need it. It's about to send a message. Exactly. So yeah, what, what I was saying earlier is like a lot of routes like use Sinsgate skip, but they don't necessarily even skip any bosses with it. You literally skip an entire boss in this run though, Gargoyles. Um, any any uh, no wrong warp route basically, Sinsgate skip saves a ton of time. It's not just a routing thing. It literally skips a whole like segment. Isn't it like two and a half or three minutes almost? It's probably about three minutes or more and like no wrong work routes yeah no blight tone visit twice and yeah stuff. It's, it's huge and regal you got hit by the trap don't you know sh you should dodge it yeah i'm sorry as you can tell i'm not very good at this game you know but actually that was a intentional hit to set up a red tier stone ring which is an item that we picked up earlier um from that tower that we climbed it's gonna give me a huge boost in damage whenever i'm below 20 percent hp and another yeah. thing that's going to give me a huge boost in damage is move swap. And Gandrake, can you explain that for me? Oh, you want to want me to explain my nemesis? I see. Yes, exactly. You you, you know but, so much about it. But yeah, in Dark Souls One, you can't two hand weapons in your left hand. The only one you can do it with is the bow. So by jumping, Rigo will press the two hand button, and while doing the animation, switch to a straight sword. And now, as you can see, he two hands has. Drake sword in the left hand, and the game is confused now. And yeah, since there are no confused. attacks for the left hand, it takes the running, rolling, plunging, and backstab attack of the right hand weapon, which is a rapier, and that hits twice on running attacks, yeah. which is super strong with these yeah. strong hitting weapons. Especially when you have the extra buff of red tier stone ring, so we're gonna be doing a lot of damage. Yeah, RTSR gives like just a hundred percent boost yeah. basically because the damage gets applied before resistances yes exactly and that was gold it was very fast and this is that was just with the drake sword now we get, we got into ender Londo and we have all that twinkling tight knight we're about to get forty thousand souls you see it right there and we're going to use that to upgrade our black knight great sword to plus five and we're going to be hitting like a truck it's it's going to be a lot of damage yeah, for everyone who ever got bullied by ONS, you you will love this. 
You will absolutely well, let's love not it. get ahead of ourselves. I can still <laughs> die to them. <laughs> but yeah. I trust in your ability. It's well, a sense, sense it's, it's so Ornstein and Smo, they can they can meme you for sure. Yeah, it's, that boss can always yeah. mess up everything. All right, so we're going to go to plus five, and then we're going to level up to where we can use the weapon. We need at least 25 strength to get uh, for a damage threshold on the boss, but, and then 18 dex to just wield the weapon. And we're going to level up more strength later, but that's the most dex that we'll get. And it's just to wield the BKGS, the Black Knight Greatsword. We're going to dupe this uh, core of an Iron Golem Soul here using a confirmation box dupe. And you can explain that if you want, Gantry. Oh yeah, sure. So in this game, you can queue up the action. Like when Regal jumped, he, the moment his character hit the ground and did the roll, he pressed the soul use. So the um, user just queued up in the system. But then he opened this menu and tried to use an Estus. So instead of consuming the soul, the game consumed an Estus, but gave him the souls as if he would have consumed mm. the soul. Right. And you can, you can just for everything anything with, with a confirmation box, yeah. Yeah. And it's really useful yeah. when you're like on elevators or something where you're not doing anything anyways. You can just get some extra souls for whatever you need them for. Yeah, you can also do things that don't have a confirmation box, right. but oh, oh, it's okay. Are you fine? Are you fine? Yeah, you're fine. Let's yeah, wait for these guys are uh, pretty annoying, <laughs> but. Okay, okay. Now now I can say my point. <laughs> so you can <laughs> you can do things that don't have a confirmation box, but that needs you to do like a frame perfect input mm -hmm, the moment yeah. the item gets used. For some items it's two frames, but a lot of them have two. And now we have to be actually silent because the bad wing demons are about to come. Yeah, we have like is, uh... 20 to 30 seconds. Yeah. I I so just to just before that though normally like in pb attempts you'll be going through this area without healing before rafters so i actually would have died if this was like a pb attempt right there on the rafters because it's called no heal in orlando and it saves like about eight seconds yeah it's but, eight uh, seconds. we're gonna be taking the ons bonfire so it does there's like really no reason to do it anyways so it's gonna be a little more forgiving here but still we we don't want to get hit silence Gandrake, you speaking is not silence. Okay, so we still need audio key for this guy up here. All right, we're safe. Okay, good, good. All right, so we're gonna oh, take this bonfire in here just for safety you wouldn't take this when you're going for pb attempts but if you die here it loses a lot of time and you know this boss is just super random so we're just gonna take our safety i'm bonfire. honestly just sad you couldn't r2 the silver knight yeah it's pretty cool yeah you if, oh, yeah. That, if that silver knight blocks you you can use the uh drake sword to r2 him off it's not oh, faster how it's not faster yeah, it's to do that, but it, it's a really good backup if he blocks you. And this guy is really annoying. So... All right, there's our setup. Okay. Very good. And let's bless Andre. After you do this very intentional jump. Yeah, it was very hard. You can see I failed it once. Oh, nice. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Another one. And another one. Luckily, you kill him in one hit, so. Wow, nice job, dude. This is not scary at all. <laughs> I'm not worried. <laughs> not concerned. Yeah, it's a hard fight, by the way. Yeah, th this video game is hard. 
<laughs> that was actually like a super sketch like RNG that I got. But it, like, it doesn't matter because you kill them like so easily in this yeah. round. Imagine that in any percent yeah, where you have no RTSR, <laughs> no upgrades. Yeah. But still, very well done how yes. you deal with that. Thank you. Alright, so, yep, yeah, this is uh, Guinevere. She talks a lot, so we're going to shoot her and bone out after we get the Lord Vessel. Alright, and from here, we're going to level up so we can fast roll with the BKGS and head to Hydra. And can you tell can you tell us why we need to go to Hydra, Kendry? Yeah, because this, the way to access the DLC in this game is, is very obvious and very simple. So first the game wants you to kill the Hydra and go to the end of the lake and have the game reloaded so a golden golem spawns that contains Dusk. And after you talk to Dusk, it doesn't matter what you do, you can also just kill her if you don't yeah. want to listen to what she says. But but we wanna we wanna listen yeah, and you help want, her. In this route you do because you wanna uh, get an item from Elizabeth that spawns in the DLC later. Yeah, and any percent you would just smash her because yeah. apparently in this game it's just better that NPCs don't talk at all. But yeah, after that he has to go to the Duke's archives, kill another golem that is there the entire time. But after you talk to Dusk, he drops an item after killing him. And after that, game wants you to go back to where the Hydra was and does, and opens the gate to the DLC. Like, it's yeah, so simple. Yeah, of course, obviously. How, how do people miss this? <laughs> I know. So we're going to quit out this door, because we need to sit at this bonfire, this hidden bonfire that's behind this invisible wall. But there's a bunch of enemies chasing us. So uh, just do a quit out, which cancels the animation, so that saves a little bit of in-game time. But also, we wouldn't be able to sit here if those guys are chasing us anyways. Right, from here, we're going to head to Hydra. And uh, we need to set up Red Tear Stone Ring. Um, and there's a setup that we're going to be do, uh, doing using some extra weight from uh, a weapon we got at the very beginning of the run from killing Asylum Demon, the Demon's Great Hammer. That thing weighs a ton, and we're going to be using the extra weight to deal extra damage to us on this jump to this bridge up here. First, we need to run past these bushes, these... Uh, what's what are Demonic they? foliage. Yes, demonic foliage, as they are called in the game. This, got, this one's... Oh, yeah. Alright, that one's... Oh, yeah, the fall out. damage setups in this game are 100% consistent yeah, because exactly. fall well, damage is percentage, ba percentage based, unlike Dark Souls 2. Well, they're not 100% consistent, but they're pretty consistent. Well... Sometimes you don't take as much damage, it's weird. Oh, yeah, like, a bit. Yeah. But usually, they're pretty consistent, yeah. It's always good to oh, yeah. use uh, fall damage instead of enemies, because enemies can act random. One head. And oh. that's Hydra. Nice, nice. Okay, so now to explain how Regal got down here this quick without taking the ladder. So, Black Knight Greatsword has a very long plunging animation and he hit a slope surface after running off that he did the plunge attack on. And he stayed in that animation for quite a while and during that animation, the game just allows you to roll even if you're mid-air, and he iframed the fall damage, so he pretty much dodged the ground. Yeah, exactly. Don't try that in real life. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. So this is I that tried. golden golem that uh, Gandrake was talking about. You have to quit out to get it to spawn after Hydra dies. We're gonna save Dusk and then bone out. And head to Sif, and we need to kill Sif. Because we need to go to Four Kings later. And if you play the game, Sif drops a ring that lets you get into the uh, arena where you fight them. This is a pretty annoying RTSR setup, but it looks like it's gonna they're gonna behave. Alright. Very it's nice. Got stuck on the trees a bit, that's okay. This guy used to be so annoying before yeah. we figured out how AI works. Mm -hmm. right, how do you know it doesn't work IRL? Well, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's also an interesting skip right there. Ruin skip. It's really annoying. It's legit it. impossible. Yeah, impossible even though I got it. Yes. That was an illusion. Yeah, that's that skip is why Gendrick doesn't run the wrong word. Yeah, that that's that. my reason. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good reason. It's a pretty annoying skip. 
Okay, that's my excuse from now on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so here's Sif. Now, so we're going to be doing this quit out strat on Sif, which is pretty new. It actually saves about three seconds, but basically this door takes forever to open. And we're going to get some really weird AI from the boss as a result of it. Because if you quit out near, um, right by boss arenas, it can really screw up their opening AI. And it's, so it's, it's a, there's a bit of a drawback to use that, that quit out there, but it does save enough time that it's, it's kind of worth it. So yeah, you see how Sif just turns around like that? That doesn't normally happen. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. I'm fine. Oh my god, I missed a hit. That sucks. This boss is pretty annoying. To pop. I missed a uh, hit there, but it's alright. Right, so Practicing for Atarius. Here is. You want to talk about Blight Town Skip now? Oh, Blight Town Skip. Yeah. That that's. That's a fun one. So, Regal started with Pyromancer. He needs arrows. So, arrows in Prepare to Die Edition are stupidly precise with the weight setup you have. And the Pyromancer armor has like weird float values. It's a bunch of technical stuff. Yeah. But it will allow him to roll midair multiple times. But yeah, now to this. This is a very specific setup to perfectly hit a transition trigger between Firelink Shrine and New London Ruins. And what that does is he will be with his position in New London Ruins while still his area being considered Firelink Shrine. So Firelink Shrine loads first, while New London Ruins doesn't, loads like after. And that will clip him out of bounds like that. And now he just quit out on a slope which delays the damage he takes, so his up position is updated again before he dies. This is a weird spot. And I might die here. Okay, we're good. All right, we're good. Perfect. And now he's going to run over this one pixel big seam, which is very hard. Very, very hard. Oh, no, it's pretty easy to me. Yeah, you're just a god. And yeah, now the arrows come into play and he's going to go right into Quellux domain. Perfect. Good fucking job. Thank you. Yeah, that skip uh, takes quite a bit of practice to get good at. And it's, but it's really cool. I'm, I'm glad you pulled it off flawless. And the jump attack, of course. Of course. I'm stuck How on am her I legs. Suppo How am I supposed to <laughs> not, not yell, yell at this game? game? By the way, did, did we already mention we have very cool merch with just that line? Even a coffee mug? Very nice! Uh, so cheese, Gendrick. If you didn't order one yet, you, you should definitely do that. Are you hosting? I actually... I, yeah, he's the host now. Yeah. I actually got that one <laughs> coffee mug, just saying. Yeah, and that I'm one's super excited good. for it to come. Yeah, I, I couldn't resist that one, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so here's another skip. Um, so if you watch in this next reload, you'll see the elevator that's right behind my character loads in just after me. You see it right there? So this stand-up animation that we do on each quit out moves our character back just slightly until eventually we're just going to clip right through. So normally you couldn't do that because the elevator is not stable ground, but you kind of cheat your way through it by using the quit out strat. And there's... Fire Sage Demon right below you, who you can coincidentally plunge attack because he's literally just a reskin of Asylum Demon. Yeah, and, and he stands in the perfect spot. This is a uh, extremely cool skip, and it's but it's very easy to do. Yeah, it's super easy, but yeah. so many things needed to work together yeah, for this to it's work. It's similar to Blight Town Skip in that it's like kind of a miracle that it works, but and yeah. it's really flashy. But it, this one's much easier. So we're gonna take like, this. Imagine... Go ahead, go ahead. Like, imagine him standing five meters yeah, further back. It just wouldn't work. I know. So, we're taking that bonfire for safety because this boss is really annoying with move swap. But also, like, if I die, I go back really far. So, I'm just going to take the safety bonfire here. Good choice. This is uh, maybe the worst boss fight in the run. But when it goes well, it's like, you know, it doesn't look like anything. But when it goes yeah. bad, it's like 
pretty awkward. Worst fight in the run says the guy fighting Atari is no move swap soon. Nice. Why is he standing so far back? Because he's centipede and he sucks. <laughs> Alright, so that was pretty decent compared to what it could yeah, be. Yeah, that, sure. that was good. Like, you see, it's, it's just two attacks to kill him, but, like, if he if he does anything weird and, like, you can't actually even hit him because he's all the way in the lava. So, like, he's in. Jump back. Yeah, the, the best fights against Centipede are uh, when you shoot him with Dark Bead or something like that, like, or Crystal Soul Spear. What, anything ranged is nice, but when. You have to fight him with melee. That boss can be extremely annoying. And it's it's not quite as bad in like BKH routes, like no wrong work. But when you're move swapped, oh man, he can he can be a real, real pain. That was thankfully went pretty smooth. Speaking of pain, this area. Yeah. Put on your shades, guys. <laughs> Speaking of pain, your eyes. It, it's over pretty fast, don't worry. Yeah, Regal is quick. Um and then the next boss, um, hopefully everything goes fine. We're going to be using a strat called Toki Bombs. So my last two fire bombs are going to be used on this next boss. If anything goes wrong and I die, I'm going to load a save file because it's pretty horrible if things goes, go wrong on this boss. But I'm going to try to take my time and hopefully I don't get firestormed and die that way. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can do it. You're not Catalyst. Mm, Dark Souls yeah. to all achievements, well, by the way. Yeah, last time I did this in a marathon, I also, I, I did it really fast and like, it was sketchy. Like, I, sh I, I need to do it slow for safety. But it's like my muscle memory just wants me to do it fast. Well, you're just too good. What can we do? Yeah, you say that until I die. But if I die, <laughs> I, I have a safety save. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. You're prepared. Mm -hmm. Like this, this part and the uh, the Drake sword tail cut at the beginning, are like the two parts that are the probably the worst things to die at, I guess. Although you can, yeah. you'll still have resin left over for the Drake. But once you yeah, run out of getting resin, getting second time. Yeah, once you run out of resin, it's like off. All right, we're just gonna equip some stuff for later because we're not doing anything else in the slide. And I'm gonna run. I'm gonna stand in the very specific spot and then aim these two firebombs to take out these two orbs on the left and right to get to the final phase of the boss. And if anything yeah, was wrong, every it's casual bad. player, Every casual player should look at this and learn it yes. to never fight this boss again. It's terrible. Okay. Alright, we got it. Now hopefully, sometimes this boss will cast a spell called Firestorm while you're in here and it's can be pretty annoying to dodge, yeah, agree. but it looks like we're good. Yeah, you're good, you're good. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're going straight to Four Kings. Well, I'm not sure if it's actually Four Kings. Isn't yes. that a different number, Regal? Yes, it'll be half as many. <laughs> <laughs> What what is the half of four? I, I'm not good at I math. Think it's you, you need to help me out. I think it's twelve. It's twelve. Yeah. Oh my dog. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a RTSR setup here. Just back step onto the elevator. Uh, not enough damage, but this next drop should do it. Yeah, that that looks good. All right, we're good. And then we're gonna do sill skip right here so um in order to avoid having to go to uh and turn the seal to lower the water here we're going to be doing a trick that involves a slope quit out onto the ground below so we're going to quit out like as we basically as we hit the ground and die but we're going to avoid death by quitting out just as we hit the ground and then respawn and we'll be down below yeah for some reason slopes delay the fall damage that you're taking yeah, I, I think that worked. I might have to redo it. No, that worked. Okay, cool. Um, nice. I even see it skip even. Yeah. I'll always do it that way. So yeah, I don't know why the chosen on that dies when he falls into water. He can obviously swim, as you can see. Yeah, exactly. Like people say, Sekiro is the first game that had swimming in a From Software game, but clearly, Dark Souls One had it first. Ahead of its time. Yes. So 
so what we're gonna be doing is a lot of overkill damage on this boss so you can still attack the boss whenever they die and we're gonna be doing enough damage to skip the extra kings see how the boss hp bar is already halfway yeah we're not gonna be doing all four kings yeah they share one health bar yeah so that's very convenient for us and doing uh, so much damage oops and you see i dropped an item at the very beginning of the fight that was because you have no frame of reference in this abyss but if you yeah. drop an item in a specific spot, you'll have a frame of reference. So you'll know where the second king is going to spawn. They really outdone themselves with this arena. I hate this arena because it actually does have walls and you can die yes. because of the walls. So we have to take this bonfire for later for the end of the run. I think it's the only category that actually needs this one, doesn't it? Um, in prepare to die edition, I think so. Other than like Hundo. Yeah, but Hanno needs everything. Yeah, so you have other to than the empty chest. <laughs> you have to say yes to that guy, or your run's pretty much dead. And then we're going to go straight to Anerlando to kill Seath and get the pendant to access the DLC as well. Do you have time for a donation? I do. This is actually a great time. Awesome. Perfect so. Time. Counter Kitty 120 donates five dollars, saying "amazing runner and an amazing teacher." Thank you for helping out so many of us with Dark Souls One Rico. Oh yeah, no problem. And also, thank you Tipwo for the thirty dollar donation. Thank you so much. Super generous. We are at two thousand four hundred and ninety one. Super close to two thousand five hundred. Let's get there. Tight. Type type wo, sorry. <laughs> tip tip wo. Tip wo. Type tip type typo. Thank tip you. We. Thank you, KK and typo. Yeah, thank you both. Super nice. Uh, super close to two thousand five hundred raised. Let's get there. Thank you all. Yeah, so that first boar, you can just roll right through them. Which looks pretty goofy, but. It's pretty nice. Otherwise, you oh, would be see, you huge practice pain. your ball control. Yes, of course. So we're gonna do some more confirmation box dupes here on this elevator. We don't have anything else to do. We're gonna stay move swapped because we have to kill this pendant golem that Gandrake mentioned earlier in the run. And hopefully these hollows are nice because they can. These guys can definitely kill you. And as you see, I have no stamina here. All right, we got some stamina back. This, this part's pretty sketchy, but looks like we're gonna get through safe. Yeah. Most of the areas in this game are like fine 95% yeah. of the time, but sometimes they just decide to go berserk and there's just nothing you can do, you just yeah. die. <clears throat> Alright, so this is gonna. This is one of the oldest skips in the game. This is Duke Skip. And it kind of speaks for itself. But you. Uh, you Not um, a glitch. You, we're gonna be able to skip the. Uh, first appearance of Seath and not die to him and not have to go to the prison section at all. Just like that. Yeah, that Easy. The saves. Nice. Good job. The saves like six or seven minutes almost. I think it's like three or four minutes, but it's it's quite a bit. Yes. It is a lot. And it's been around for a long time. Yeah. It's, isn't it like one of the first things that was discovered in this game? I don't know if it was the first thing, but one of them. Yeah, definitely. Damn, no let us skip into Silk no, without. No, we're gonna... So there's definitely some, like, high-level strats that you can do in this area. But we are not doing them because they are very risk-prone. And dying in this part of the uh, of the game it loses a ton of time. So we're gonna be doing some safety strats through here. But the, um, yeah. If you're, if you're going for, like, a really good time, you would... There's a ladder skip you can do there to where you don't have to take the ladder and it gives you some extra damage as well for an RTSR setup. And then you would do a slip quit out off of the end of this crystal right here, which is really easy to fail. And when you, if you fail that, you lose like a lot of time. Yeah, but it looks super badass, so it's worth it anyways. Yeah, well, we're not doing it. So we're going we're gonna to be doing the easiest setup. Oh, the kiddo drop. Yes. Not even the manly Not one. Not the manly drop, no. We don't want to die here. Mad. 
I'm not mad. Well, the thing <laughs> is, like, I'm used to doing the slope quit out, so, like, I'm not used yeah. to doing manly drop. And if I'm not going to do slope quit out, I, I'd rather just do the, the brainless one. So you peach, and then you peach even more. Exactly. So up here, this is um, Seath coming up. He's, he's a pretty easy boss. In fact, the hardest part of the fight is probably just not getting any of these clams to enter the fight. Uh, so we're going to do some very specific pathing leading up to the fight to where they don't, we won't get any in there. And then the next hardest part is just landing the move swap in the fight. Which is impossible in that arena because frames. It's not impossible. It's actually easy. Okay, we got a clam. There goes the clam. Not doing a clam boost into plunging. <laughs> Instead. Uh, and I need a setup for that. All right, so we're, we're done with a, most of the game that isn't the DLC, although we still have Nito left. But we're going to go immediately to the DLC after we level up. We got 23 strength for uh, RTSR setup purposes later on. 37 strength because it saves uh, a hit on Nito and Artorius. Although we won't be <laughs> won't be doing Artorius the normal way. Yeah. In this run. Maybe it saves a hit there anyway. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. But uh, and then we needed 14 intelligence to cast Hidden Body. Yeah, Hidden Body is the spell that. You can buy from Elizabeth. That's why we didn't make Dusk mad or kill her. Mm -hmm. Because if you make her mad or kill her, you just can't buy it anymore from yeah. Elizabeth. She just won't sell anything. Well, I don't think she's she would even be there, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't, I don't know things about this game, honestly. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, Flower Skip uh, again. We did this earlier in the run. But it sets up our HP for the DLC. We're going to be taking the bonfire after Sanctuary Guardian, just in case we die to Artorius. But just for Sanctuary Guardian, we already got our HP set up. So hopefully we don't die to Sanctuary Guardian. I believe in you. I believe in you. Also, did yeah, you, did we... you ever notice like how many convenient drops we just have for our RTSR I know. setup? Like there's there's actually very few enemy based setups in this game, really. Which is great because they are awful. Yeah. But there are some spots where you do. Like on Sif, for example, there's just no good way to set up RTSR without using the enemy. Sadly. Yeah. At least Hundo uses a mushroom. Yeah, the mushroom setup's pretty cool. Although, like, the setup that we do on Sif now is a little bit better because we found a RNG manipulation. Yeah, thank God. Maybe I run Sif routes again. I mean, just run no wrong work where you don't use the consistent thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, as, as soon as I take off this Dust Crown ring, I'll be in RTSR range. And then hopefully this this fight goes pretty smooth. We'll see. This boss can be very annoying. Yeah, Mr. Brute can tell you a thing or two about this one. Okay. Nice. Right. No this, lightnings. That's okay. Yeah. Showing once again that you're American and not Dutch. Yeah. That wind attack is like the best thing you can get. It's better if Guardian does that as the first attack, which he didn't, but you know, it's fine. Yeah, just the ability to get a hit at the start of the attack is so good. Yeah, and then the next attack you do is going to stagger him. So you, you get a one hit stagger on the next one, which is awesome. Okay, so this is going to be pretty scuffed and not fast, but um, no move swap Artorius with the Black Knight Greatswords coming up as the incentive, so... Hell yeah. Are you going to do it RTSR? Oh, yeah. We're doing it with Artorius. So, that, like, I can... I'll, 
I might die, but you know, it's okay. Might die twice, but we'll see. That, that, that's okay. And this is this has been a other than the death in Sin's Fortress, this run hasn't yeah, been too bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. So. Okay, and I'm gonna spice it up. Every time you die to Artorius, I'm gonna donate 10. Oh, for nice. Each. So please don't make me poor. <laughs> well, maybe now I'll have to die on purpose. I, I, tr I trust in you. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, it's it's very possible to die because the BKGS moveset when you're not move swapped is so bad. Yeah, I feel like I'm regretting this already. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did practice, but, you know, I mean, I, ha I have died in practice as well. So. Oh, wait, we need to uh, set up our TSR. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't practice doing the RTSR, so. That's fine. R2 finish? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Think about my wallet, Ben. <laughs> it's for the children. Talking about the children, we do have a small donation. But I'll read it after. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, just whiff the first attack. Cool. Come on. There we go. First try. Damn. Regal saving my wallet. <laughs> I missed that first <laughs> attack, but otherwise, though, it's fine, I guess. Yeah. But I'm going to throw 10 anyways because oh, for the children. Thank you, you know, Dantric. That's very kind of you. After the run. All right, Morale, if you wanted to uh, say something, this is a pretty good time. Yeah, okay, so. We've got Sir Lucius Fox donating $5. Thank you so much for donating five. Uh, saying dogs are good. Thanks for doing this all. I don't know, Regal and uh, uh, Drake, if you if you know about this sort of meme, um, barking like a dog. Mm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> mm. I already yeehawed this run. <laughs> I, Ye I yeehawed as well, though. Think about it. Maybe I need some more convincing Lucius. Thank you so much, Sir Lucius Fox, for the uh, $5 donation. Okay, so right here, what we're doing is... We're just running past these dogs to trigger Kalanit. That's all this is. Duck is set right now. These dogs are really annoying. I think the Kalanit went past? All right, we're good. Yeah, he should went past by now. Yeah. The dogs are after you. So here's some more uh, arrows. Mm. Dude, this is this is a pretty sweet usage of them. The skip. Yeah, doesn't this save like thirty seconds almost? I don't know, but it says it's a good bit. I don't think anyone actually has timed how much that one is. I'm, yeah, I'm we trying just to know get it's bad, duck though. to like time it, and you just like won't do it. I guess I should time it for him. Well, why? It's it's faster. Yeah, but I'm, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> All right, so we're coming up here, and we're gonna have to get this crest key so we can access this NPC named Goff, and so we can shoot down Calamite and we can fight him normally. Yeah, remaster runners are running at you, uh, laughing about you right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. And the in remaster, all bosses you can. Uh, there's a way that you can 
kill Calamite without grounding him. Whoa! What is that? Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've never he seen wanted... him do that. <laughs> he wanted to be a goddamn undead Burke Hollow doing a fucking yeah. YOLO Well, drum. that's okay. Like, that doesn't even lose that much time. <laughs> but... Yeah, you got the item, it's fine. Do you need souls anymore? No, uh, no, I don't. I, I had zero yeah. souls. Oh, yeah, then, then it's totally fine. Yeah, that's okay, though. Because we'll just do the skip. Hey, marathon, though. It, that never happened before. Yeah, that, I've literally never had that happen before. Did one of them just YOLO after Oh my god, one of them YOLO'd after you. Well, that means I'm not going to do the fog gate skip for Manus, because I don't know the HP setup for it, but that's okay. So, here we go. This is a pretty dangerous part as well. It's called Hell Bridge, but... Hidden body helps a good bit here. Yeah, hidden body is very good when it works. Yes. They can definitely still kill you. So here's another air roll I'm gonna do here. And normally in like an all bosses run, this is where you pick up Dark Beat, but Dark Beat doesn't save enough time for us to worry about it. Yeah, and we're no filthy magicians. Yeah, we're gonna melee everything. We fight like men. Yeah. There's another place where hidden body is pretty useful though. Like if you're if you're going to get dark bead, hidden body is extremely useful there, but. It's, oh, yeah. it's just mildly useful for us right here. Well, there's still a sorceress that could shoot you from yeah, behind yeah, yeah, if you yeah. don't have it. Yeah, but we don't... And they hurt. Yes, but we don't need it for also for hidden body. All right, so here's Manus. Hopefully this goes okay. Best boss in the game. Yeah, this is a pretty good fight. Okay, I just didn't roll. Right. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like my B button is broken. I've been getting that a lot lately, but maybe I just rolled. You know the 10 bucks per death row for Artorias, right? Hmm? It's too late to roll for content and more money. That's okay. Yeah. I think I'll just... take the bonfire at uh down here as well. I don't know. I press. I, I feel like I pressed roll in time, but... Miyazaki's watching this run went too well. <laughs> We're making too much fun of the game. Yeah, that happened to me in the the other day in a run though. Like, pressed. Uh, like I even went back and looked at the um, at OBS to see my input viewer, and like I clearly rolled in time. Yeah, I the beauty like, of Dark Souls. Yeah, I feel like um, my controller is needs replacing, but. Maybe I just did roll a little too late. It's always hard to tell yeah, with Manus and the delayed attacks. That's okay though. It's like no big deal. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, We're still God. on a pretty decent pace. I need this. this. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this bonfire. Yeah, it's not that much slower. No, it's not. Do you have any donations, maybe, while we run back to the boss? Well, actually not currently, but we are super close to hitting 2.5k, and I would love if we hit that um, before the end of this run. So, chat, you know what to do. Please keep me busy. It goes to a great cause, and I will tell you what $5 can do in one second. I should probably move swap. Good idea. Okay. So five dollars can provide educational supplies for kids that are out of school due to the pandemic. Uh, one dollar can provide treatment against pneumonia, which is one of the top killers of uh, children under the age of five, and that's treatment for four kids. One dollar. Four dollars. Do the math. I don't know how to do math, <laughs> but that's a lot of kids more than two kids.
That was much better. Yeah, and very nice, very nice. All right. So two donations of two dollars will bring us there, by the way. <laughs> But we also find with 12 donations of $12. Mm -hmm. See, that that would be more. That would be nice. Clearly superior. All right, so actually, I, should, I guess I should rest here. Oh, yeah, you, you should probably. Um, so now we have to go to Goff, who we got the key f uh, for earlier when we went to that mimic, and then the uh, the monkey killed us immediately afterwards. You need just that key to open up this door to get to him, and then he's going to shoot down Calamite for us. There's normally a really cool cutscene, but obviously we're going to skip it. Yeah, sad. Best cutscene in the game. Actually, my personal favorite is the first cutscene, the opening one. But yes, this one is definitely up there. The first cutscene also doesn't accrue in-game time, so... Obviously better. True. All right, from here we'll go to Calamite. And Calamite is uh, not my favorite. Uh, not my favorite boss. Calamite. Especially with this weapon, um, with the Black Knight Greatsword move swapped. Every single time you do an attack, it completely destroys your entire stamina bar. And you can't, so you can't attack and then roll. Uh, you could if you had more endurance, but if we get more endurance, we can't do air rolls, so we can't do that. Um, so we're kind of stuck at this uh, endurance level, and every single time we attack, <coughs> it it just we can't even dodge afterwards. And on Calamite, that's pretty annoying. It makes it to where a lot of the times you're kind of just yellowing him and hoping that he doesn't do anything to punish you. So there's a yeah. there's a definitely a chance I'll die here. That's, that's why fine. Dragon Tooth is superior and a better weapon. Yeah, Dragon Tooth is a better weapon, but it's not as fast, unfortunately. We hit it, by the way. Thank nice. you, everybody. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. If you want to read the donation after this fight, that would be a good time. Okay. Super. So hopefully we get a good opening. And we didn't opening get the good opening. Oh. Ooh, that attack is really hard to dodge. No, it's not. Come on, let me make you look good. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Calamity? What are you doing? Okay, I guess I'm gonna loop you. But not very well. There's an AI loop you can do on this guy, but it's kind of annoying to do. All right, that was pretty bad, but whatever. You didn't die. Yeah. That, that's all that matters. All right, now if you have any, if you want to read any donations, good time. All right, so we have Malik 7D donating $4, saying four is a multiple of two, is a multiple of two, is a multiple of two. You can do this, Rigo, <laughs> and a heart. And then we've got D9 with the $10 saying, white people happy. Thank you so much, D9. White people happy. Uh, and Carl with the 12 saying two. Thank you so much, Carl. So excited to see you playing bass later. And then we've got Trejo with another 12. Uh, it's so nice to see all the 12s coming in. We are over 2.5K right now. Super excited. Um, to be able to reach that before the end of the run. Thank you, everybody. It goes to a great cause. Yeah, thank Save you, everybody. The children. Thank you, everyone. All right, so we're we're on our way to... This is the penultimate segment of the run. Uh, on our way to Nito. And so we're going to... We need to pull this lever right here to get to the next part of the, of the zone. And since there will be a bunch of skeletons on us, and it'll also save some in-game time. We're going to quit out on this lever. And then we're going to do another air roll skip up here, which hopefully doesn't mess up, because I've been having some issues with this recently. But hopefully you can do it, I believe. Yeah, it's not hard. It's, just a, it's a little bit awkward of a setup. Yeah, it's more scary what's at the bottom. 
Mm, yes. Well, we have hidden body, which helps. All right, yeah, this should be true. fine. Yeah, this looks good. All right. Nice. So we have a legitimately, like, you know, semi-scary pinwheel fight, but, you know, it should be fine. Especially since I'm at full HP. Like, this, this actually is a pinwheel fight where sometimes you'll get hit after you kill him, but we have a full HP bar, so even if that getting happens... Hit by, getting hit by pinwheel, kick W. Well, it's the clones that will hit you. See? Look at that! <laughs> I'm saying. It happens a lot, this type of Nito fight. Or not Nito, pin, uh, Pinwell. So this is um, Tomb of the Giants. Uh, you know, casual playthroughs. This place is pretty annoying, but there's some pretty cool parkour you can do. There's some different yeah. parkour most people do, but since I'm keeping move swap, uh, it's just faster to do this old school pathing I'm doing here. There's also a, um, a fog gate skip I can do right here, but I'm not gonna go for it because it doesn't save a whole lot of time. It's tricky. Yeah, it's not hard, but tricky is a, a good way to describe it. I yeah. have to say, Again, Drake, you're an incredible host. I don't know what you've done to the chat, but everyone's donating 12 now. So whenever <laughs> you guys have time for donations, let me know. Yeah, I wonder why. Well, I guess being hungover is perfect for hosting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've done a great job, Game Drake, though, seriously. I, I need to learn. <laughs> well, I have great runners, so... Oh, thank you. Love you, babe. This is um, pretty much not, not much going on here. There is this pinwheel room ahead, which can be a little sketchy. But shouldn't be too bad. All right. Scary. Would you guys stop? Bullying. Okay. You you kind of want to like wait for Nito to come forward a little bit because he's standing by, by all those big skeletons back there. Which will mess you up. Like, they will kill you really fast. And, yeah. and, and they'll stagger you as well. But these smaller skeletons won't really stagger you while wearing the big armor. So you just kind of want them to come forward a little bit. And then you can uh, start pressuring him. And he's not super hard once you uh, get him up there. It's pretty yeah, annoying when he starts screaming a lot, though. Because then you're just wasting time. But I only yeah, got one The biggest scream. problem is, like... That you take constant counter hits from everything because you do running attacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do that fight with red tier stone ring, but it is not not uh, very not fun. recommended in a marathon. Not fun. Very easy to die, but it does save time. All right, so here's uh, coming to the last part of the run on to Gwyn. Let me know when you have time for donations. This is a good right time. Now. Okay, great. So we have Anonymous donating $5 saying, I just saved 20 kids. Yes, you did indeed, nice. Anonymous. And then we've got Ash Win donating 12 saying, can we get a big, oh, my dog. Also, shout out to my bud Carl and his bass performance. Wait, <laughs> bass performance. Sorry. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I thought you did that on purpose. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, and then we've got Penny Tent with another 12 uh, saying, don't know why we're doing 12, but hey, I want in. Uh, I don't know, like, Gandrick, I think we're going to have to recruit you for a host uh, position in future marathons, you know, prepare for that. Damn, I'm hyped. We do, do we have a new host king? Is that what you're saying, Mara? Oh, God, don't say that in front of Wolfie. He will actually... <laughs> nah, I, I, I don't can't know what he'll do. overtake Wolfie. W Wolfie is too good at it. But yeah, 
Everyone in chat, can we get some Frank Aziz for the end of the run? Yeah, everybody. Frank Z. Frank Z. This is move swap, Gwyn, so I might die. But, uh. <laughs> that just means more time for more Frank Aziz, honestly. Sounds good to me. Alright, and that's nice. Artorius of the Abyss. Very good job, man. Yeah, that was a decent that was That was fun to watch. Yeah, thanks for <laughs> helping me gain trade. No problem. It was a pleasure. Let's see what the in-game time was, though. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna guess um, an hour and one. I say an hour and three. Hour and two. Okay, so you're actually Oh, close. in the middle. Yeah. Okay, um, I guess that's that's all for us. Um, well, thank you. I, I have one last thing. I have one last thing because yeah. all you people donated so much and were so supportive. So here you go. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> thank you, Gendry. <laughs> <laughs> but what happened to the hall part? I heard it all. I don't know what you're talking about. You heard it all? Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't hear it all. I just heard yee. <laughs> 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 oh man. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. It was incredibly fun. Uh, we've got another donation actually, if you have time. Sure. Sure. Uh, Sir Lucius Fox with a $12 donation saying, nice. Where is that extra yeehaw? You just got it, Sir Lucius. Yeah. You got uh, it, my friend. And also 12. Thank you so much for the incredibly generous donations. Uh, we are at $2,575 raised, nearly 2600 there. Uh, you guys did an incredible uh, job. Thank you again, Drake, and thank you, Regal. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a wonderful run. So, uh, any last words? Um, no, not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Enjoy Odeer's run. I think he's next. He's, he's doing Super Mario Land. So, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, don't yes, miss indeed. that one. Yes, and you can also donate towards uh, uh, deciding what type of bonus run he will do. Uh, definitely check it out. And yeah, we're going to go to intermission. This was my last host session for today as well. So I'll, I'll be heading to bed. And next up, you will have um, the very nice company of... Let me see who's next. <laughs> Dark Fox. Oh, nice. Nice.